Welcome to the most popular series of videos on this channel, buying weird Nintendo Switch accessories with my Kim. <laughs> I guess we're doing wife from now on. I don't on. know. What is the algorithm like? I don't know what the <laughs> algorithm what the likes. Algorithm. If I knew that, I'd probably get more views in general. <laughs> this is how it works. I, well, it used to be you. This started with you. But oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, was this my idea? Yeah, it was. This this whole huh. series okay. started with you buying me stuff. But somewhere along the line, you became too busy doing your own channel, which I love. And it ended up becoming me buying me stuff and showing you. I always think we're gonna run out of weird things on Etsy. But it seems like every time I make one of these videos, people on Etsy go, hmm, what? What can I what make? What can we make that dumb Australian man buy this week? And it usually works. It works. It does work. So keep trying, guys. Actually, so. now I'm realizing this. Uh. I need a prop from downstairs. What do you want? I'll go get it when the time comes. Oh. <laughs> We have a lot of stuff, so we're just gonna go through it. Are you ready? Yeah. This is the first accessories video we've done since the OLED has been out. We can see if we can break that oh. today. You you open oh. it. I don't know what's in there. Oh, also, we're using a brand new lens today, and it has to sit really far away. If we're blurry at any point, I'm sorry, I'm learning this lens. Now open it. Oh, this feels crazy. like a little, like, it's necklace or something. Oh, these are for me. These are, this is like when Homer buys the bowling ball. It's actually really sick. Oh my God, it's really elaborate. Give us a second, guys. Fast forward. There we go! So my issue with Joy-Cons are, to display them, you just lie them down flat and they look sad and you can't see them. Yeah, this is a cool alternative. Especially for these ones, which are by far the coolest Joy-Cons there are. There's so much detail and effort that went into it. Rose colored on Etsy. Links, as always, when I remember, will be down below. Okay, honey? Honey? Mm, is this the sponsorship? We all love honey! <laughs> Today's video is sponsored, thankfully, because I've got like, Jesus. sorry, 20 things behind me and possible medical bills to have to pay later if I'm not careful with the knife. By Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America, and it's so simple to get and use. Not to mention Honey is completely what, Kim? Free. Free. Huh. It's a little button that just sits on top of your browser. You forget it's even there until you're checking out buying something you were gonna buy anyway. And then it just goes, ding, ding, hello, excuse me. Would you like to save a bunch of money on that? And you say, yes, please. Thank you, honey. The honey has sponsored me before and it's tracked all the people that have used my link and calculated how much those people have saved using honey. Kim. Can you guess how much people watching at home that have already used my link has saved so far? Altogether, all yes. the people? Yes, altogether, all the people. $100,000. She should never get over <laughs> guess, because then it makes the actual answer really sad. You do that to me every time. I know, but it's actually 80000 which is That's really close. close. Yeah, it's $80,000 you guys have saved. I want that to pass 100,000, so can you all click the link below, please? Put simply, it automatically searches for promo code, so you don't have to. So whether you're shopping for food, video games, shoes, craft supplies. Craft supplies I've yet uh, to find a site where it doesn't have something, so. Mia. <laughs> <laughs> it's free savings. I, uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, click the link in the description or go to joinhoney.com forward slash beat em ups. Thank you, honey, for sponsoring. Next. I have no idea what could be that small. I, I don't know. It's getting smaller as I open it. Oh. <laughs> is it bread? Go ahead and grab those Joy Cons out of there if you if you if you would. Yeah, I gotta be honest. This isn't the most refined quality of 3D print. I, I don't know why I got it in brown. Actually, it kind of looks like you've got mud caked onto the back of your Joy Con, and you should probably clean it. No, it does look like a loaf of bread. I'm sorry. It adds grooves for your individual yeah, fingies to sit in, and I gotta be honest, it's nice. It yeah. is. It's nice, isn't it? it is it's nice. pretty nice. I like it. <laughs> I feel like the only way that would improve this is if they were squishy. Yeah. That would be good. I'm bummed that these okay, don't nice. squish now. 
I thought this was really neat. Yeah. Well, I liked it for many reasons. One, once you start getting all the games lined up, that is actually kind of sick. It's like you're flexing your collection. Yeah. But also, you know when you're playing a game and you want to get up, you don't want to go find the game case or whatever? Yeah. You can literally just blonk, blonk. I think it's cool. You can fit 24 games on the front of it. Most normal people don't have that many games. I do, but I'm not normal. Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh -oh. This is the one we need the prop for. Uh -oh. One thing I'll say is I can't believe we don't have a single bag of chips in the house. Oh no. <laughs> you it's remember? Like the cup. I know. So you had the cup that you clip the Joy-Cons onto. So if you were thirsty, you'd take a little sip. But this is the upgrade from that. Because you know, you're a busy gamer. You don't have time what? to get up out of your chair, go downstairs and get a snack. So here's what you do while you're sitting there playing your games. You know, you got your Reese's Pieces, <laughs> you got your beef jerky, you've got your little your little cookies. I did, did you choose the color? <laughs> yes. You chose flesh tone? Yes. <laughs> God. So you just sat there playing your Mario's, your Zelda's. Yeah, you know what? I might like a piece of jerky. You know, you're in a cutscene, you're in a load screen, a whack on a piece of jerky, and you keep playing them. I feel like it would work better if the stuff wasn't in the packaging. I think it would work better if the Joy-Cons actually clipped in. You didn't do it right. Oh no. You could also keep a beverage in here. I certainly wouldn't do that. I mean, theoretically I, speaking. No! Oh my god. And then just get a straw. It's like it's like a troll. I was going to say, I'm surprised nobody's made a coffee cup version. <laughs> I mean, it works. Yeah. Pork rind? Okay. Oh, you could also keep your Switch games in here. But it's it got so many uses. You might be waiting for an important call. You keep your phone in there. If you had a newborn cat, Mom. keep your little cat in there. That's a vibe. Next. Okay. This is the weirdest one by far. I think it would be good if you were maybe a streamer. You were gonna do what game? Should yeah, you what play? game should yeah. I play? Donate and I'll spin the wheel of games. Who at home will get there? So you load it up with all your little Switch games. Yeah. And then you're like, you know what? I've been playing Breath of the Wild now for seven hours straight. I should probably play something different. Well, I wonder what? Oh, I guess I'm playing Fishing Star World Tour. Say what you will, I think it's neat. Next! Ah! Oh no! Oh. I didn't know I did buy that. Can we take a second before you open it to look at how they delivered it? This is ruined! What if I was a collector? I don't know why I decided to buy it. I guess this lives here now. Surely I didn't buy it on Etsy though. I hate that little g -strings. I I hate that the butt cheeks are shaded. That is my least favorite element of this. So, uh, if you want to get one of these, you can have it set up like this in your house. And people might come over and think, oh, that's a really nice Doug Trio pot plant you have there. Very cute. They don't know what's hiding underneath. Men, this is yours. I don't want to put him back in this, there. You don't want it? I really thought you'd like that one. Next. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I... But, but this is the first time I've seen actual 3D printed mini NES carts that you slide these tiny switch carts into and it perfectly sits in so it looks like the label for the NES game. Somebody really thought this through and I appreciate the effort. This is nice. Not only that, but they come with these little sleeves which are 3D printed, but they kind of have the same flex and give that the old Nintendo yeah. sleeves did. If that wasn't enough, there's a little tray with Nintendo carts on it that you can slide them into and line them all up. Every time I make one of these videos, I don't think there can be anything else. And then someone comes up with something as cool and honestly as simple as this. Oh my God, I bought so many switch holders. So this is a magazine for a gun. Why? I probably shouldn't even be saying that word so much in the video for for YouTube reasons. So Zach, if you could bleep out every time I said gun and replace it with um potato. I'm a big potato. Yeah, I live in Texas, so uh potato is my life. And I figured what's best to coincide with my uh my block magnum than a nice magazine that isn't actually for potato stuff at all you load it up with switch games the switch games are the bullets you fire fun you're just gonna leave this out yeah because people are gonna come over they're gonna think i'm a really cool potato no oh cool you like potato i'll be like oh yes i have so many potato but it's actually not a potato it's loaded you're gonna get them stuck in there. It's loaded. 
Well, I can't show you right now, uh, but it, it, there's Switch games in there. I feel like this is for a very specific person, and I hope they find it. But uh... I'm making fun of potato people. Do what you want. I don't. I actually don't like them. <laughs> Every now and then in these videos, I like to buy something that I just want. Mm. Do you guys remember? Do you remember when I did one of these videos with Bob and I bought him the Guigi? Well, I was jealous that I didn't get one, so I was gonna go and buy that for right. this video. But then I noticed he had something arguably even cool. It's a Dark Link amiibo, but it has like this etched look to it. It's very nice. I actually really like the base he's made for yeah, it too. Yeah, it's really nice. That's honestly not weird. That's just me claiming something on tax. Move along, government. What's next? So this one's neat. It goes on a base and it kind of creates this cute little oh, stand. That is cute. It barely adds like any height or any dimension to it, but you can store 16 Switch games underneath and it just slots in and out. Did you notice how the star is printed as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So They've actually done it in the inside of this oh, too. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't see that either. And I wonder if I took this star off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't 100% look right. Actually, that's not bad with the drawer pulled out a little bit. I've created a monster. Oh! <laughs> yeah! I don't know why I'm clapping for myself. I've been so excited for this. Recently, I did the weird Amazon accessories, and they had a sword, but they didn't have a shield. So when I went to Etsy, I was like, can I finish my little setup here and buy a shield? Yes, but it also came with a sword. So you're playing Skyward Sword, specifically Skyward Sword. You have this in one hand. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not comfortable. That's blah, 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 blah. And you're swinging and you're killing. This is also weighted. I actually kind of yeah, feel like, like if it. someone was attacking you, this could be a real life shield. And this is actually kind of sharp. Don't even need that much force. They would, really pointed this. I, I think you could honestly quick a guy with this. Do you want to try? No. No, not on us. On the cats. I like this a lot. This is yeah. cool. Definitely weird. If I walked in on anyone playing Skyward Sword and they actually had this set up, power to them, and I'm happy they're living their best life, but I probably wouldn't want to go to dinner with them. I think, being honest, though, if you saw that, you would be jealous and want one, though, because you're you, so... Next. You can have this, by the way. Oh, goody. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to want it. <laughs> oh, my job. God. It's so good. I know. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, yeah! Can I steal this? I put it on my desk. <laughs> well, yeah, you can, but you could also steal all of this. In each one of these videos, there's a running bit. I don't know what yeah. you want to call it. We always end on a dock where I buy this really expensive, it's usually a couple hundred dollars dock. This is by far, and I, I knew even before I bought it, the coolest one. And they also asked what your favorite villager was, and clearly that's because they were gonna print out a little photo <laughs> of it, and Kim's favorite is Scoot. I don't know where you'd put it, I guess like I somewhere know, like that. Maybe. It yeah. even comes with the a little, little drop box, drop box yeah, that it, goes, like, it right works there. too. Yeah. You can put your Switch games in it. You could put your Switch games in it. I don't have anything to put my Switch games in currently. <laughs> I want to say this. as well, just this tree alone. I know, so cool. Is they such good this. quality. Yeah, and then look, they've added foam for yeah. little bits of grass. There's little bits of grass. This <laughs> is so stinking cool. And then obviously, the thing we haven't mentioned is they've recreated the entire front of Nook's cranny so. in excruciating detail. This is so good. It is insane. This is so good. Sometimes I buy weird docks like the BMO one and it's kind of cool, but it's not like I'm going to recommend anyone go and buy it. But this is so good that if you want one, I mean, go support. And again, yeah. you can get any season. You can get the Able the Sisters. Well, you gave me a ring at the end of the last video. Oh, so I will true. give you this. This is the equivalent. I feel like I like this. That is lot. all yours. Actually, no, not all no, yours. Not, no, <laughs> no, no my no. OLED. <laughs> this is what's crazy. Not him. Not you. I am not talking about you when I say this next sentence. <laughs> We've been doing these videos now for so long, and it always feels like there's never going to be anything else. All all of this is like some of the nicest, cleverest, coolest, cutest stuff I've seen on Etsy. Like every time I go on there, someone else has come up with something brilliant and yeah. I love it. We've been doing this for what, three years now? Cause we started this in the old, old house. I cringe going back and watching the old videos because I was acting like an idiot. I think you were trying to compensate for how depressing that house was. <laughs> It flooded. <laughs> it's just interesting how far all of it has come, especially with the 3D printing stuff. I feel like we started it when 3D printing was pretty new as far as like 
accessories and stuff. But like, look at all the stuff people have made. I hope that in some way these videos have encouraged people to support the artists and support Etsy and to buy accessories that aren't these shoveled out, manufactured on Amazon stuff. And I hope that Etsy is still going strong with so many unique and weird things in a way because of all these videos and how many views they've yeah. gotten and the encouragement to be creative and for people to go and buy the weird creative stuff. I kind of wish we could like look at different timelines and never do these videos and, and then see if any of us, yeah. what it, what does and doesn't exist. Because I feel like this would be an example of something that probably wouldn't exist if not for these videos. These videos definitely wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. Hitting subscribe and the bell and liking the video and commenting and watching all of them. It really means the world to both of us. So do it again. And also while you're down there, honey, sponsored the video, click the link and join honey.com forward slash beat em ups. I'd really appreciate it. Bye. Wave, wave to the people. Wave to the people. Oh, stop waving. Greg's looking. Okay. Greg's gone. Wave, wave to the people. We don't like Greg.